Days all this month, Six News is taking a closer look at opioid addiction and substance use disorder. And tonight, I shed light on the path to recovery from those who are now leading clean and sober lives to the communities that helped them achieve that success and how you or your loved one can follow in their footsteps. I wasn't the first one to be addicted to heroin, and I wasn't the first one trying to get clean from it. Uh, so somebody had done it before me, and, and if they did it, I could. Kalen Kofelt is eight years sober. He says recovery meetings saved his life, and staying clean is something he works at every day and will for the rest of his life. Kofelt got help from Andy's Angels, a nonprofit in Jackson County founded by Mike Hurst after his son Andy died from an opioid overdose. Hurst wants to offer those battling addiction hope. So there is a way out, but you can't just say that. You've really got to sit down with somebody and, and, and show them that light at the end of the tunnel, that there is light at the end of the tunnel, because a lot of things, times they, they don't think there is. That light is also shining brightly at Rise Recovery Community in Lansing. Founder and President Corey Warren says Rise is lighting the path to breaking the cycle of addiction by creating a family within a community. The recovery process gives that person a lifeline, a chance, a purpose, a reason for being here. RISE is a peer-to-peer -peer recovery community. The people who come in for help get counseling from someone who has not only been in their shoes, but understands the journey of recovery. And that was Noah Sweet's life. He battled his addiction to heroin for 17 years, was homeless, in and out of prison, and entered a psychiatric ward before detoxing there and then coming to RISE. After working with his own peer recovery coach for months, he graduated from the five-phase program and was hired as staff. I never thought this day would come to where I would be sober, I would have a decent life, I wouldn't be in prison for another extended amount of time. Both Noah and Kaylin say anyone on the road to sobriety knows they have to feed their recovery twice, if not 10 times as much as they did their addiction. But breaking free is possible. The person struggling with substance use disorder has to want it. But some people say you can't chase them down to get them help. But Corey from Rise feels differently. Had my mom thought like that, I might be dead right now. Uh, I don't I don't know that I agree with that. If it's somebody that I love, it's my son or my daughter and they're out there, I'm in my truck and I'm driving around until I find you. And I, whenever I do find you, I'm gonna try everything in my power to every single night if I have to, over and over and over, because at some point, there's gonna be a five minute window where that person wants help. And I have to be there when that five minute window opens up. And when that window does open up, if you're looking for immediate help, one option is Hope Not Handcuffs, a collaborative effort between Families Against Narcotics, law enforcement, and the community. The Michigan State Police offers the ANGEL program, which allows people to walk into any MSP post during regular business hours to ask for help. Without fear, they'll be arrested for their drug or alcohol use or current possession. Pine Rest Christian Mental Health Services is another option. With just one call, you will set up a meeting with a therapist who will guide you through the process to determine whether you need to stay 24-7 to be medically monitored in a detox or residential program. And there's always Community Mental Health of Clinton, Eaton, and Ingham Counties, which offers detox services in the recovery center or residential services in the House of Commons. RISE also guides people who want to achieve freedom from addiction, and they will bring you into one of their nine houses or connect you with residential treatment centers that have immediate availability. You have to just make a choice, and that choice is to love yourself. Love yourself enough to stop. It's the hardest thing I've ever done, but it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. And you can join us for more insight into the fight against drugs every Monday in our Fighting Addiction series. We're talking about everything from enforcing drug laws to stories from survivors. So join us for Fighting Addiction, Heartbreak, and Hope, Mondays in July at 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. right here on 6 News. And we